We have just finished filming our first video, but before we can upload it to YouTube, we have to go through one of the most intimidating screens in the history of the internet, the YouTube upload screen. There are so many choices. How do we know what options will maximize our views? Let's go over it today. Once again, we are joined by our friend Thad, who has just finished up shooting a video about how to pick up chicks at the gym. This is the fourth video in a series where we have been taking Thad through some of the biggest challenges that new YouTubers face. So, if you want to learn some of the most useful tips to start or take your YouTube channel to the next level, be sure to check out all the other videos in this series. The YouTube upload screen is the last obstacle that we have to get through before we can share our video with the world. But we don't want to just rush through the screen because some of the decisions that we make here will decide whether our video is a huge success or a major flaw. Our first tip is to use everything that YouTube makes available to you. Thad, how many subscribers do you have right now? Uh, I got two. My best friend and my mom. Only two? I'm at nine. With all that big game you talk, I'm surprised that you don't have more ladies subscribed to you than just your mom. Haha, <laughs> come on, Luke. You know I don't mix business and pleasure. Haha. <laughs> oh, come on, man. But when we are a small YouTuber, we need to take advantage of everything that YouTube makes available to us. So starting from the top of the upload screen, we need to create an informative title that is close to the 100 character limit. Remember that the title is the main way that people are going to discover our content. So be sure to fill your title with informative keywords. That have you thought of what you might want to title your video? Uh, let's keep it simple and go with picking up chicks at the gym. Mm, see, in my humble opinion, that title is just a little too short. Even though it is informative and it does contain a high scoring keyword mm. phrase, I think we could add a little length to it to make it have a broader reach. A technique that I highly recommend is to have your main high scoring keyword phrase in all caps at the beginning of your title, followed by a colon, followed by less important but still high scoring keyword phrases after the colon. So that for your video, we could go with a title like how to pick up chicks at the gym, conversation starters, and body language techniques to get her number. See, that has 99 characters and hits on four distinct keywords. How to pick up chicks at the gym, conversation starters, body language techniques, and how to get her number. Wow, I dig that, man. But our work here is still not done. Next up is the description section. In this section, we should put a summary of our video. I try to keep mine between four and six sentences. I don't actually think that the majority of my viewers will actually read the description, but I create one so that the YouTube algorithm can correctly categorize my video. So make sure that you are filling your description with high scoring keyword phrases. And then the last section that I want to discuss is the tag section. This is a hotly debated section amongst YouTube experts. Why even waste our time? I thought they didn't matter much. Tags are not a complete waste of time, Thad. They give us another opportunity to show YouTube exactly what our video is about. Even though they don't seem to have a huge impact on how YouTube categorizes our video, they still do have some sort of effect. So try to fill your tag section up with as many high scoring keyword phrases as possible. But don't spend too much time here. On the upload screen, I would recommend spending 70% of your time creating a great title, 20% of your time working on that description, and then the remaining 10% of time creating tags. Our second tip is to create a custom thumbnail. The thumbnail is like a movie poster for your YouTube video. In many cases, it will be the first thing that a prospective viewer sees about your video. So it is your thumbnail's job to tell that prospective viewer that they need to watch your content right now. The current trend on YouTube is people creating custom thumbnails with overexpressive faces and bright backgrounds. Fat, do you have any ideas of what you want to do for your thumbnail? If there's one thing that I'm an expert on, it's how to take hot pictures. <laughs> so I created a thumbnail that I think is epic. Here, check it out. 
Wow, that is a masterpiece. The thumbnail is an extension of your video, so it should not only grab someone's attention, but it should also match the content of your video. And I think you did a great job in this case, Thad. Our last tip is that once your video is live, is to use YouTube Studio to track its performance. I know that after you post a video, it is really tempting to just completely shift your focus onto your next video, but we highly recommend that you keep an eye on all your uploaded videos in YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio offers live, up to the minute data on your videos. It will even give you little pointers about how you can further optimize your already uploaded videos. Team Archon recommends that three to five days after uploading your video that you do a deep dive into the analytics. If you see that your video is underperforming, try to find clues as to why and then implement changes that could fix the issue. Some problems can be solved by making small edits to the title, thumbnail, or description of your video. And making these changes can help get your video back on the right track. I've seen many cases where making a small change to a video's title leads to YouTube recategorizing the video, which then leads to a big increase in views. And with that, we have wrapped up our YouTube for Beginners class. That, congratulations, you are now officially ready to start growing your channel. Oh man, I graduated. I can't believe it. I've never graduated from anything in my life, not even middle school. <laughs> Congrats, man. It's been a pleasure to show you the ropes. Well, folks, looks like our job here with that is done. But remember to stay tuned to Team Archon for more scintillating content. This has been Luke. And this has been Thad from Team Archon. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We will be back right here next week. We'll see you then. So, am I like officially part of the channel now? <laughs>